Hello guys, today I'll show you how to upload images in Mongo's or MongoDB. So first of all, initialize the node project and we'll install some packages. First Mongo's and Express, Nodemon and Molter and one more Express Async Handler. So wait till it finish the installation. So once done, create a index.js file and go to the pack package.json and here we'll initialize the node mon and just node mon index.js. Okay, we are done with this. And if we type md and run dev, it will start the Nordman server. Now first, import the express. Require express. And give it to the app. Express function. And we'll listen. Add port 4000. We'll also give a callback function that will say Mm. Start it. Okay. So we're done. Now let's um, connect to the database, MongoDB database. Create a new file, connect.js, and we'll import the Mongoose. We'll create a function, connect, and now we'll first of all try our oh, it mongoose.connect and we'll pass the URL, and there will be a catch to catch the error if anything goes wrong. We'll just print uh, console.log and error and let's get that URL go to this MongoDB site I've already shown you how you can connect to database just grab that URL and just paste there and replace that password to whatever you have put in there and save it and we need to export this module module.export and we are exporting this connect function and we'll also print uh, something connected okay now let's import that just after we have initialized that tape connect function it's a function okay done and you can see that's connected so we have successfully connected to the database. Now let's create a schema. Schema of the image. So again, we need to import the mongoose. Mongoose. And now, image schema. We are creating from mongoose.schema and it will take an object. So first thing we are going to do is file name. Whatever the file name it is. Type will be string and require will be true. And one more file path. This will just tell from where it is coming from it will be also string and it will also be required require equals to true so yeah that's all now let's just export this module too this is image schema so well, this is a model we export it as a model model and whatever model name you can give 
and we pass the schema the second parameter will be schema so now let's create a route we are only going to use post this video first of all let's import the express require express and let's create a router you can create an app router whatever and express we are importing router from there and we are using post so router dot post and the first thing will be like what location slash you can do anything and let's create that upload now this is the new thing first of all we import the molder we have installed that package so get that molder m-e-l-t-e-r so now let's create our storage molder will take that storage but for now let's create that molder dot disk storage this is it will take the object first it will take destination this is like the where you want to store that file okay request file and callback it will take three parameter and we'll just you know null just so there is no error we won't take any error so uploads we need to create that folder whatever name that you will give there the destination must be here and it will take one more parameter that's the file name it's the actual name that will get replaced uh, from the actual file that we you know upload or post it's the same three parameter cv null and we'll add a date at the start of the file and the actual name and again we need to export it export this module okay, before that um, we need to you know, give it to the molder so let's let's call it the upload and molder and it will take storage <clears throat> and we'll pass that function that we have created up now let's export this upload okay done now this post will take that as a second parameter upload dot single because we have only uploading one image at a time and remember this image that's very important now let's create a controller and this is the first of all the expo import the express handler sync handler it will handle all the error and we also import a schema that we have created that schema is there schema yes so now let's let's create a controller post image because we are posting the image everything is inside the express handler and we're just getting a request and response and try as so we'll try if if there is no file then we'll just print an error we'll just send them the error status with 500 and json file we'll just say error no file found okay and try after try there's always get an error we'll just print that error and if the file is there then we need to pass two parameter if you remember the image the schema so that schema will take two things remember the file name and the file path 
So let's give them that. So file name will be and file path. First of all, let's do that. And the file name will be request dot file dot. If you see there, there's already suggestion, so you can just type that request dot file dot path. Okay, okay, path. There is a suggestion, right? So we have passed that. And let's save that to the database now. Await and image file dot save. Okay, done. And one last thing, we'll just send the response to when they try to post it. Whenever they finish posting, we'll just send them the. 200 status code and JSON of the same saved image that is stored there. And we also need to export this module, everything inside post image. And the third parameter that routes will take is that thing, post image. Not there, uh, yeah, third parameter, post image, yes. Now done, need to, now let's try to send the request. So, HTTP. localhost for thousand if you remember that's what it was and if we try to send it it will give us 404 not found error go to the body and inside the form click the file and choose any file that image file that you need and in inside the field name you need to remember the route routes that name the upload dot single whatever you have passed you can pass anything but you need to remember that and try to send we're still giving us four four not found error but there's no error in the console so maybe we have not used it yet so use the route okay we need to export this module too so this is export module dot export and it, it, everything is inside the router right so just keep the router second one yes and now when you try to post it now post try to post post it and it will give us the file name and the file path and look at there upload the image has been posted so this is how it is and that's all this is i suggest you to you know create a different file many people do in one file but it's better to separate the file so i'll just give you an overview first we just created a imported express in a you know, database imported that um, connect the database and we just assign that to listen to the server and check if the database is you know, valid or not we have done this thing before too so I don't think I need to, uh, we have created a schema, schema, this is two field, file name and file path. And this is the new thing, we import the Mulder, Mulder will take the storage, so we create a const storage, add Mulder dot this storage, 
it will take two things destination that will be where to save and the file name what to call that file that has been uploaded while saving to the you know uploads or any folder that is and at last we just pass that to the molder in the storage storage the function the object and the object and we just export that module to and we'll give it to the routes the second parameter will be that and upload.single.image this thing you need to understand upload.single there's there are other two you can see if you want to pass the area of the image you can do that too but right now we are only uploading one image at a time and the name is very important while posting and at last there's a controller we have done this the logic is pretty much same express handler to handle all the error and we try if there's no file found then we'll give an error if the file is found then we we use that instance in the schema or the model and pass it and the rest of them is pretty much same so that's all for today see you in my next video thank you